guys, welcome to the very first episode of my job hunting series. If you're new on this channel, my name is Chisong. If you've been following me on this channel, or if this is your first time, I started a job hunting series on Monday. And for this series, I just wanted to be sharing like my job search process. I started this process some months ago. So I'm like, show you guys how I do what I do, especially when it comes to looking for my next career adventure. I was actually very, very picky because I'm still, I still consider myself early career. So I want somewhere that I can grow, somewhere that won't really impede my growth in terms of other stuff that I do. And you know, somewhere that I can actually see progress in my career so i think i should just do like a back story or like a rewind back to when i started so when i started the first thing i did was to start applying but i didn't just go ahead and start applying the first thing i did was to fix up my resume and my linkedin and my cover letters and all the documents that i used to apply so for my resume i made sure that my resume was reflecting like the current skill set that i have in addition to the skill set that i already had before and again, I mentioned in my previous video that I'm prioritizing data engineering roles first before uh, mobile development roles. I usually leave my resume to be just one page. Sorry, I have a call. So after updating my resume, the next thing I did was do to do like my cover letter template. I usually don't like writing my cover letters in a very static and official way. I usually like making it very fun. To look as if like you're there, I'm talking to you and I'm trying to convince you to you know, check out my application. So after that, I did my LinkedIn. My LinkedIn has always been up to date. So I just did like a little optimization, like the bullet points for my experiences. So if you've not followed me on LinkedIn, guys, you should. Yeah, today is for online assessment prep. So usually when I get like an online assessment from a company, I try to brush up more on this code. And for anybody that's doing this code, basically, I would recommend you focusing on easy to medium questions. Companies are asking hard questions this period, so don't think people will not ask you hard questions. <laughs> so I'm focusing more on easy to medium questions because I don't want to deceive myself to jump into medium questions because it's been long I did this code. So for the online assessment, I just draft like a plan. And I talked about a plan I have in my book. So I want to do like five easy questions, five medium questions per data structure. Then on the side, I'm also building a couple of personal projects, um, data engineering focused. And yeah, just to keep my technical brain running. And I'm also working on a couple of other projects that I haven't announced yet, but I'll be doing so very, very soon. Let me quit the chit chat and get to work because I need to be done with a couple of things before 12 p.m. So guys, I was doing some legal questions. I was able to do just three easy questions and they were on linked lists. I've done some easy array questions. So I'm focusing on linked lists for today. And I think I was able to get through the questions very easily because I've solved these questions before. So I just needed to like do a little bit of recap. So I think when I get to some medium questions, I would have to spend more time. I was also timing myself to make sure that um i don't spend more time than i should trying to crack my head on one problem so yeah guys i'll see you guys tomorrow i need to get something to eat and also probably take a nap so that i would continue with this in like a few hours then see you guys tomorrow bye this is a new day 
and I'm going out to take my driving test. Sorry about the background noise, I'm actually on a meeting. So the meeting hasn't ended yet, but I'm just getting ready so that when it ends, I'll be on my way. I didn't really vlog my driving training process, but I've been going to like a driving school. I think I did that from April to May to, be, to learn how to drive. That was good. So I drove around and yeah, so I think the final stage of the driving test is to take the to take the exam, the CBT exam, so that you can get your license. So that's what I'm going to now. But yeah, guys, these are my new glasses. I know I didn't show you guys. I did on my Instagram story for, but for some of you that didn't see, these are my new glasses. They're cute. I got it from my eye clinic and it's pink. I haven't gotten this shape before. So I want to book my Uber now and start going. I had some practice, I downloaded some practice tests online from Google. I paid for some practice tests because I couldn't see any like Nigerian practice tests. So I had to pay. But it was about 250 questions. So I might not see the exact questions, but I might see like similar questions, but at least the practice test helped me, helped me to prepare. So let's be going. I'm wearing a bodysuit with the blue jeans. Nothing too extra. Social media, of course, we'll be having our hashtags flying around regards to that. I just really hope that this meeting ends soon so that I can be on my way. Um, so that's pretty much it.